What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WifiEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. I'm super excited to talk with you guys a little bit about what's been going on. Unfortunately, just got some troubling news over the airwaves about Kobe Bryant. Really touched by the news that just came out. I want to talk with you guys about it. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, uh, just got news that Kobe Bryant and his daughter and uh, two other people have passed away in a helicopter crash. And that is just really, really devastating. I took some time uh, today to really just take a moment to reflect on a lot of different things. I think a lot of people in America worldwide really took a moment to see this as a way to really realize how short life and how fragile life can be and how, you know, every day is not really promised to you. You have to really cherish every day, be the best that you can, to do the best that you can, to be the best that you can be, uh, and live out your dreams. Uh, because you never know, you, just, you can't keep waiting until a later date in order to see something come to come about. You gotta really just go for it now. Uh, I mean, Kobe Bryant's passing uh, really, really shook a lot of people because we all kind of saw Kobe Bryant come up in the uh, NBA. You know, if you're my age, uh, you saw him join the league, uh, build a legacy, have his ups, have his downs. Uh, overcome those, still uh, finish a great career on top, which is what many of us strive to do. And, uh, and then to see that his life was ended, what we believe so shortly is, you know, really, really devastating. I really thought about a couple things today, uh, and I wanted to share those things with you. A couple things. One, I told you I was reading the Grant Cardone's book, The Obsessed and the Average. And in that book, he talks about how how his father and mother and his whole family, you know, they, uh, his father had this, uh, this, this ambition or this, this drive to have that American dream, you know, and he did very well. He worked his butt off and uh, was able to put his family in upper middle class and they were doing well. Well, uh, his father passed away and when his father passed away, because his father was the main income earner who made his dream come uh, to pass when he passed away there was no cash flow no income coming in anymore so they had to go from you know reaching their goals and then uh, joining a middle class and then when someone passed away it, they had to go all the way back down and that really like took me for a loop because you think about you know, here it is the very next day, I'm, Kobe Bryant passes away, and I thought to myself, hearing, being, having that story recently on my brain from just now reading the book, you know, Kobe Bryant, you know, I, I, I hate that, I hate that this happened to his family first, let me make that crystal clear. Uh, but I want to make sure that you guys understand that he left his family in good shape for whenever he were to pass. We're all going to pass at some point, you know. How are you going to leave those that you love behind when you pass? You know, a lot of people talk about life insurance. Well, quite honestly, life insurance is death insurance. They talk about life insurance in, in everything. But, you know, you get a certain amount of money when someone passes, and then you have to make that money stretch for how long? And uh, what kind of lifestyle is that uh, trying to penny pinch? What I'm trying to say is, is that as a man, as a father, uh, as a husband, I really see it as my job to ensure that if something were to happen to me, my family had a steady flow of income in that can sustain them at least, uh, what my hopes to, you know, continue to allow them to live the life that they deserve, uh, even if I'm not around for whatever reason. So that's a lot of the pull for why I create 
this brand and create opportunities and share with you guys about opportunities like affiliate marketing, network marketing, uh, businesses that you can create online. I mean, organic traffic, you can have a website that's generating organic traffic for a product or service and that website is going to continue to orga organically generate traffic for as long as Google is around. And as long as if there's any fees associated with however you get paid, as long as the person knows how to get that check, you know, uh, you're putting them in good shape. And, and that goes far and wide. I mean, that's just a small example, but quite honestly, you really should be looking to put yourself in a position that protects you from whatever, you know, cash flow and having a second stream of income protects you from the unknown, from corporate layoffs, from, you know, a whole industry being replaced where you no longer can generate uh, what you used to make at a certain business. Having that cash flow, that outside cash flow helps you in that way to protect yourself. So it's just something to think about. It helps you to protect your family uh, when, when, when you go away. So. Uh, just something to think about. That's uh, one of the things that I thought about is, like I said before, and also, you know, Kobe Bryant passed away, the whole world kind of mourned. What's quite fascinating is that a lot of people passed away. My wife's uh, ex-boss mother passed away uh, yesterday as well. And what's interesting is, is that everyone mourns Kobe Bryant. However, only a few mourn uh, her mother his her mother uh, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that it's pretty wild how you can make an impact that reaches worldwide now I'm not saying that the, the her mother is not was not impactful I'm pretty sure she touched many I love her because of the fact that she made the, the, the daughter who then in turn became the, the boss of my wife uh, and helped her with her career so but what I find fascinating is, is that those that get talked about are those that made an impact in other people's lives. And Kobe Bryant has definitely made an impact on and off the court. And that is why people really are hurt by the tragicness of this, this news. And um, I feel that it's my goal to want to make an impact so that you know, when I go, you know, people who feel like there's truly something missing in the world and that um, that is that it's only a, a missing piece that only I can feel, you know, and never be another Kobe Bryant. I want there to never be another Trey Mathis. I want there to never be, there is no other now and I want there to be no, I want you to know that it's just me, you know, and uh, and I think that we all should strive to make some form of impact in that way. So um, I encourage you to uh, find your place and, 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 and get to moving. <laughs> so uh, normally we talk about how you can make money online. This conversation was just really a reflection. If you guys uh, are willing to stick around, we sure have more conversation about how to make money online in upcoming videos. So I'm going to leave it there. So we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.